like money, motherfucker? Money be green. Money feel like money. That shit look green to you? Welcome to the mandatory. Remember to follow us at the mandatory TKO. We're on Twitter, TikTok, IG. That's where you can find all of our content. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. Uh, Brian, lots to get into. Two fights that I feel like people have it going underneath the radar. One of them, I could see why. Uh, the other one I feel like should be talked about a lot more. But let's start off with the one that boxing purists hate. Let's just get right into it. Jake Paul and Andre August. Straight up on the money line, Jake Paul is a minus 750, and Andre August is a plus 460. Your thoughts on Jake Paul fighting Andre August, and then give me your best bet. I think if Jake Paul were fighting a real boxer, the odds wouldn't be like this. And I think, you know, Andre August is a real boxer, but you have to remember in these type of businesses that these things are always picked by design. Andre August is about 10 years older than Jake Paul. He is three inches shorter. We don't even know what his reach is because it's unlisted, which tells you he probably has short arms. Uh, Jake Paul, sneaky, long arms, 76 inch reach, despite being six, uh, six foot one. So that tells you he has a six foot four inch reach. And if you notice, he tends to box from the outside. Yes, I'm actually analyzing Jake Paul boxing. He's not terrible. He's not great. He's not terrible either. And Andre August is somebody who came off a four-year layoff before his last fight in August. Beat a guy who was undefeated. But the undefeated dude, uh, <laughs> they both sort of compiled their records against weak competition. And Andre August is the underdog because he's shorter, he's slower, and he's about 10 years older. And again, at one point, didn't fight for four whole years. And now all of a sudden, he's getting this opportunity. Um, and there's also a reason that Jake Paul's fight, that this is like the least hype out of all of them. Um, I think Jake Paul, like being minus 750, whatever, is cool. You need to win this fight by knockout, which is how I think this should go. I got it at plus 290. That price is dropping plus 240 ish plus 250 um he's minus 150 or minus 140 to win on points i think he has to knock this dude out if you want to legitimize yourself at all andre august when he fought brandon martin who's six foot four but like clearly wasn't that great either like you can tell he there's some limitations there he's gonna he has a very basic offense he's gonna dip his head numerous times to try to get in close and cut off the distance and try to crowd Jake Paul, make him uncomfortable and make him fight on the inside, which other people try to do and really lean on that left hook. I feel like these are things that if Jake Paul is seriously training and developing that he can telegraph and he should win this fight by knockout and anything else uh, is a disappointment from Jake Paul. And no, you cannot say after winning this fight, oh, what are they going to say now? It's like a whole lot. You should beat this dude because you guys handpicked them for a reason. So this is set up for Jake Paul to win this fight spectacularly. And if he doesn't, then it's a flop. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. I mean, the best part about it is he's not fighting a former MMA guy, which I think is a little bit better because a lot of the guys that he was fighting, they were a lot older than him. And that wasn't their natural sport for Andre August. Yeah, he is a real boxer. Listen, he's 10-1 and one and he has been knocked out before. I think that's a very, very interesting piece of information that we need to have in this one he has been knocked out before in 2018 he was knocked out and so this is what you do in boxing especially if you're jake paul i mean you can hand pick who you want to pick fight and that's exactly what he did because jake paul coming off that nate diaz fight a lot of people actually thought nate diaz won that fight it was competitive i thought jake paul did enough but there was a lot of people that were like yo i think nate got it done here so this is a fight where i think jake paul does have to have a knockout and i think he has a really good chance i've said before on this podcast jake paul does not like fighting on the inside i'm gonna say show because brian hates when i say a podcast um jake <laughs> fighting on the inside and when you get him to fight on the inside he struggles a little bit and so i think if i'm andre august and Listen, he's shorter than him. So he's going to try to be closing the gap. And he's going to try to, he should try to fight him on the inside. But I think Jake Paul is going to control the distance. He's going to land the jab. And he has a really nice right hand. And you know what? His left was working as well. 
Like we've seen Jake Paul's left get a lot better too. And he's gotten better in every fight that he's had. But I think in this particular fight, fighting a guy like Andre August, it was a specific choice for him because everyone's like, fight a real boxer. So he's fighting a guy that actually has a professional career, um, doesn't have the name that an ATS has. But at the same time, I think this is the fight where Jake Paul is like, hey, what are you going to say now? Exactly what you said. So I don't think a decision is the way to go. <laughs> because I think if he has a decision against Andre August, people will be disappointed. Because who the hell is buying this pay-per-view to watch him and Andre August? No, you want to see entertainment. You want to see someone get knocked out. Jake Paul has a lot of fans. So I'm going to go with Jake Paul to win by knockout. And it's a plus 290 on FanDuel. So FanDuel actually doesn't think Jake Paul's going to get the knockout against Andre August. That's Jack the value Peter. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's weird that that's the, like, we'll acknowledge this is eight rounds, not 10. So there's something to that. But at the same time, Jake Paul is actually low key due for a knockout. He hasn't had one in two years. And again, I think in fairness to him, if you're an actual boxer developing, you're seven and one with four knockouts. Andre August is the type of dude that you would fight if you're the A side. And if you're the sort of promotional like vehicle for a network like the zone, um, like, yes, this is the type of guy they would have you fight. But I don't think this is one of these where if and when he wins, he can all of a sudden brag about it on a level of what will they say now? And I'm sure he will. And I'm sure that people will take the bait because people aren't smart enough to ignore shit that they don't like. Yeah. As evident by what I said earlier on the on the audio side of this is on the comments, they're commenting. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares about the fight. But you're commenting that. As opposed to being like other people on like who have social media profiles, like myself, for example, who when I don't care about something, I don't tweet about it. I don't post about it because I actually don't give a shit. So yeah. I think this is one of these fights where like I'm curious to see what the reaction is after. And I also think if Jake Paul, you lose this fight, this shit is over. Like this shit is done. I'm, I I don't want to see. I, I don't think he here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think he's going to lose the fight. So say if, it, say if it does go the distance, then he's just going to win on the cards. Me I don't neither. think this yeah. is a fight that Jake Paul loses. I just think that he is due for a knockout and he should knock out a guy like Andre August, especially if it's a pay-per-view and especially if it is a pay-per-view, right? I don't know. Okay. Honestly. Who knows? Who, who I, knows? I ain't paying for it. Uh, I mean, you know, if you yeah. have the zone legally, then watch it on the zone. Um, I think you have to pay for I some pay-per-views think... on the zone now. Uh, this you should do. not so be you... this. This is not. You, I said Devin Haney Regis Progre. I wasn't sure that was a pay per view fight in terms of. This isn't a pay per view the, fight. Yeah, not yeah. at if all. That's not, if that's on the fringes, because we don't really know. Like, this is not a pay per view fight. I don't care who Jake Paul is fighting. I gotta check it out. I do have his own, um, but I, I highly doubt this would be a pay per view. I don't know though. All Jake Paul fights are pay per views, right? So, uh, let us know in the comments below how you are going to bet this one, Brian. Are we both taking Jake Paul to win by knockout? Sounds like it to me, and I think that's that. That's what we should see. Anything under that is a, is a disappointment. Yeah. So make sure to drop your comments below. Also follow us on our social media channels. We're at the mandatory TKO. And if you have a couple of minutes on the audio side, because you can get us on the audio side, wherever you find your shows or podcasts, uh, make sure to leave a rate interview. Give us a five star. It helps the channel grow. But let's.